The G7 SE is Games' new upgraded version of the original Games G7 also a third-party controller for Xbox. While there are improvements over the G7 controller, the new G7 SE no longer has mechanical face buttons though and no rubber grips. Instead, the G7 SE is equipped with membrane, non-clicky, buttons which aren't as fast to actuate, aren't longer-lasting nor as satisfying to press. Something else you will also notice on the new G7 SE is the lack of rubberized grips, which gives the original G7 controller a more premium feel. Fortunately, Gamesa has transferred most functionality from the G7 to the G7 SE so, you still get Hall Effect analog triggers with vibration feedback, interchangeable faceplate, X input compatibility and the ability to remap buttons, control volume, as well as headset volume and chat mixer via the D-pad. One feature on the G7 SE that you won't find on the original G7 is magnetic hall effect thumbsticks. As far as input lag, delay, it is 4 milliseconds which is due to the G7 SE only supporting 250Hz polling rate. That said, you can overclock the G7 SE via overclocking software, e.g. Lord of Mice, to a maximum of 500Hz polling rate. Another note, it has been reported that Gamesa will release a future update via the Gamesa Nexus app that will enable the G7 SE to support 1000 Hz polling rate, 1 millisecond input delay. As mentioned earlier, the G7 SE has drawbacks, which also include limited rear paddles and lack of trigger stops and wireless functionality. That said, it's worth knowing that all third-party controllers for Xbox need to be wired due to Microsoft's decision not to share its wireless frequency technology as a security measure. This prevents the use of wireless Zeme, Cronus, and other wired inline cheat devices, and also discourages wireless-only users from attempting to utilize them. The so-called third-party wireless controllers available are actually modified versions of first-party OEM controllers that have been rebranded and repackaged by companies such as Scuf, Battle Beaver, Cinch Gaming, Evil Controllers, and others. However, Microsoft does not grant third-party manufacturers access to its proprietary wireless functionality. The G7 SE is compatible with PC also but, for PC gaming, e.g. story mode games, the Gamesa T4 Collide is better suited and supports 1000 mHz polling rate, unlike the G7 SE controller. Next up, it's the button sound test. Enjoy!